What was the dumbest thing you got in trouble for in grade school? Not intervening in someone getting pants in the bathroom this year they deadass gave me detention for not pulling up dude's pants. That is fucking stupid. And they tell you to keep your hands to yourself too. Conflicting messages. Wait, dot you were punished for not trying to intervene in an altercation between two students? Because I've heard of kids trying to stop fights and getting punished as if they were involved in said fight. In high school I had a bottle of Dave's Insanity Sauce. It was quite a spicy additive and I would tell my friends to try adding one drop to their fries at lunch just to see if they were man enough to try it. Turns out one of my friend's female friend wanted to try it because she could handle spicy things. She threw up because it was so spicy and I got suspended for a few days for bringing a deadly weapon to school. Well the rule book says here bringing condiments that are spicy is on the same level as a school shooting. Not me, but a girl in my kindergarten class. For some background it was near Christmas time and we had tickets the teachers would give us as a reward which we could use to trade for cheap toys on special days. We were in music class. And my teacher said if we sing a Christmas song in front of the class we'd get tickets. One girl got up and sang Jingle Bells. Batman smells and for some reason it set the teacher off. She started yelling at the girl about how that's not a real Christmas song and had all the tickets she had saved up taken away from her. This girl never got in trouble and was always a super good kid so we were all extra surprised when she got in trouble over this. She was confused and crying for the rest of the class after that as well. Safe to say no one else went up and sang any songs after that. Even back then I thought it was really weird and harsh which is why it stuck with me all these years. I get the teacher thinking it was disrespectful. Although the girl probably thought it was funny and not trying to be disrespectful. But taking all her tickets away? WTF. Especially a kindergartner? Question mark. Coloring. I am colorblind and you had to color shapes a certain color based on the question and the crayons didn't say the color on them and I was too afraid to ask. Dot dot dot. I am so sorry oof. One guy jumped another guy and started beating his head up against the floor. I thought he wasn't going to die when blood started coming out so I jumped on the guy on top. I did that right as the principal entered the room as year the teacher had fled to get him right when. It started happening since his office was like two doors down. So basically all he saw was what I did, without him even asking questions. He hauled me off to his office and I got suspended and threatened to be expelled. Guy wouldn't listen to a word I said and it literally went all the way to the point I was being driven home by my mom who said she couldn't believe I'd do such a thing. An hour or two later we got a call from the school apologizing once they'd finally talked to the fucking teacher and kids in the class. Honestly, I'm impressed that they apologized at all. Was it the principal who called to apologize? I have no idea who called, I hope it was him. Guy was really overboard as I remember it. Once dropped a pen, when picking it up the teacher snapped and sent me to suspension. Why? Okay PLS tell me you made this up, like what is this 1822? Using graph paper in math class. Isn't that what it's made for? Yo WTF. My class was on photo day and before they took the photo I decided to play some football. And when the time for the photo arrived I was all sweaty and I was suspended cause I supposedly ruined the photo. What? I wrote in pencil for a test French teacher in high school was absolute dick. Made up some personal rule where if you wrote in pencil he would fail you. Not supported by the school didn't mention it up front. Failed the first test in spite of getting every answer right. Mom was livid took it up with school's dean. The dean supported the teacher and said, oh it's for standardized tests. My mom screeched, what? Fucking standardized tests. They are all in pencil. The dean was a dick and went, oh well in college they require pen. My mom and my father both have PhD in engineering one electrical one mechanical. 
They both were like, no you dick. No standardized test in college uses pen as a mandatory utensil. Turns one obscure specific one does. But yeah the great didn't get reversed. Followed the family trend. Got PhD in microbio. And I still have never had any test where I had to write in pen specifically. Greater than and I still have never had any test where I had to write in pen specifically. Not capitalizing by stating you've never had a test where you had to write in pen specifically when the story is about you having about you having to take a test in pen specifically. I'm afraid I can't give you a passing grade on this comment. I had a first grade school teacher pick on me a lot. Later learned she wasn't keen on slow children and I was diagnosed with ADHD. A few gems. Asterisk we were making advent wreaths. Basically, it's four candles in a circle with a pink one in the bottom left. When I showed her mine, I turned the wreath around for it to be at her bottom left. She was in front of me. She kept having me fix it and I failed to notice that turning it around was the reason she couldn't tell I was putting on the bottom left. She freaked out and sent me to the timeout chair. Asterisk she once couldn't find my book bag and sent me to the timeout chair to think about where I put it. It was in the bin and it had fallen over. Other people had put theirs on top of mine. Asterisk I broke my arm and was gone for a few days. When I came back I had a lot of work. I piled it up on my table. And people started laughing about how much work I had. She heard the laughing and blamed me. You guessed it went to the timeout chair instead of catching up on my work. Asterisk we were also painting cardboard buildings when I got back with a broken arm. Monsieur I asked her what to do. And she told me to paint the cardboard. I painted each side a different color. When someone sees me and runs off to tell the teacher, she comes and freaks out on me because we were only supposed to use one color. I pointed out that she hadn't told me, and she said I should have problem solved and asked someone for further direction. Yes, I went to the timeout chair. Greater than we were also painting cardboard buildings when I got back with a broken arm monsieur I asked her what to do, and she told me to paint the cardboard. I painted each side a different color. When someone sees me and runs off to tell the teacher, she comes and freaks out on me because we were only supposed to use one color. I pointed out that she hadn't told me, and she said I should have problem solved and asked someone for further direction. You're in trouble for not following directions. Quote, you didn't tell me full directions. Quote, you should have known the instructions I gave you were incomplete. Quote, WTF. These aren't even all the times I was sent to the timeout chair for stupid reasons. But yeah, it bothered me for years. And in situations like this, you'll only realize when you were about 15 years old that it wasn't that you were a bad kid and you were being discriminated against. I failed a spelling test two times because I couldn't spell it. I kept spelling it up because my teacher enunciated it wrong and I didn't know better. We were supposed to be quietly working on an assignment and my friend asked for a pen. I went to give it to her and the teacher singled me out without allowing me to explain. I was then forced to move my desk to the corner. In front of everyone, I was so mortified. You monster. You helpful, considerate monster. That like the time I got in trouble when another student was talking to me. When I said I wasn't the one talking the teacher said it takes two to talk. The student who was actually talking didn't get in trouble just me. I fucking hated that phrase. I called my friend a butthole during recess. Like, haha, you're a butthole. A teacher heard me and I lost the rest of recess that day and got written up. Ha 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 I got in trouble for butt pirate once. Getting assaulted. A nerdy weed dealer fronted a friend of mine some weed and then didn't pay high monsieur instead of going after her for his ten dollars. He grabbed me by my throat and slammed my head into a concrete pillar, demanding his money, in front of the floor-to-ceiling glass window to the administration offices. So every administrator saw me get assaulted, and it was on camera. He got a week suspension.
and I got three days suspension after I told them exactly where the weed was. There was a nicer dealer with better weed anyway. I still don't know why I, the victim, was punished for being cooperative. Snitches get tilda tilda stitches tilda tilda suspensions. Well maybe he shouldn't have slammed my head into a concrete pillar and left marks from his fingers on my throat that stayed for a few days. Tit for tat. First day of kindergarten, I ran up a slide and got put in the corner. My best friend accidentally punched me in the face during recess and the crappy lunch lady sent us both to the principal's office. The principal was an awesome lady who knew that we were friends and that neither of us was in instigator. So she accepted our explanation and sent us back to class. Playing the dice game craps in the back of the classroom monsieur. Teacher caught me. He said that since I liked gambling so much, he would leave my consequence to his deck of cards. I don't recall how it was done, but the result was me getting off scot-free. So you didn't get in trouble. Another typical R as credit user answering a thread that didn't apply to the monsieur. Allergies. I got in school suspension for sneezing in class a few times. My teacher accused me of continuously interrupting class. My high school didn't allow ripped jeans at all. I was in my dance class. We weren't dancing that day. When I was bending down to sit on the floor and my jeans ripped at my knee. I got sent to the administrator's office for it. Not wearing all white shoes. Went to a Catholic school and we could only wear all white shoes. My shoes were all white with black laces and a black logo on them had to have my mom bring me a different pair or I had to be sent home. Can't have impurity creeping into the soul. Junior high English teacher had a couple Mac classics in her room and we were allowed to play games on them if we finished an in-class assignment early. I renamed, literally single click and start typing. The hard drive icon on the desktop too. Garbage teacher gave me a week of detention and said I'd grow up to be a good-for-nothing hacker. Greater than good-for-nothing hacker. Hackers can make good money. Even hackers doing legit work for security firms probably make a lot more money than her. I got yelled at and made to sit in the front of the bus on a school trip for yelling and being too loud. I had strep throat and could speak louder than a whisper. That woman was a cunt. Someone harassed me. I am male and so is the attacker. I defended myself by punching him. By reflex. As a response the dude kicked me in the stomach. Our principal gave us both a one day suspension. My only school suspension. I had a guy push me down and make my elbows bleed. So I spit on him and got in trouble. One in school lunch suspension. Walking into my classroom too early. My older brother was being an ass to her as he was leaving and I got most of her anger as I walked into the classroom monsieur. I seriously disliked the teacher and my brother as a child cause this shit would happen all the damn time. I mean I wasn't the best student but I was never disrespectful or talk during classes. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.